and start by closing the eyes down. Come to some slower breathing. Tuning into that breath, inhaling from the nose and exhaling slow and deep through the nose. And as you slower the breath, just see how that makes your body feel. Slowing the breath can really help quieten the nervous system, turning it into its relaxed state, can lessen stress in the body, the nervous system. And have this overarching sense of calmness coming through the body. Feel your belly rise and fall. And really soften down through the back body. Allowing the arms to feel heavy, the back of the head to feel supported. Perhaps even the eyeballs to kind of hang really deep in the head. And then on our next inhalation, we'll take our arms up and overhead. So the fingertips are pointing skywards. And on the exhalation, we take the arms all the way over the head and back down, touching the mat to the earth. And we do this really slowly, three times over. So as we inhale, we lift the arms, straightening into the arms, fingertips reaching skywards. Exhale, soften back down. Last time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, soften. This time we go again, but as we lift the arms up, we start to scoop the belly under, press the lower back into the mat, and start to peel the vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time off the mat. And as we exhale, we lower down, one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way down, back on your mat. Allow the elbows to soften before again rise. Leading with our fingertips, peeling the lower back, coming back off, the mat and as if you're squeezing a block at the top, perhaps a moment to pause and then exhale, come back down. Let's do two more times, inhale, rise, exhale, slowly peel all the way back down, inhale to rise, scoop the belly in, tailbone scoops under. Squeeze that block between your thighs. Exhale, release. This time we go just with the hands and as the arms rise, the knees come into the chest and we give ourselves a big squeeze. Big hug around the knees, hands interlace over your kneecaps. And then we start to rock side to side. Massaging out the lower back. Keep that slow, deep breathing. Coming back to center and then take one hand on each kneecap and then take the kneecaps away from each other, keeping your big toes together, taking this big circle with your knees, taking them back together and then opening up once more. So opening up into those hips. Let's take three more like this, slow as if we're moving through that pot of honey. Last time, pause in your center. Can we then open up the other way, the way that feels a little bit secondary to us, so the opposite way than we opened up before? Minor big circles away from my body and then bringing the knees back through center. Maybe you've done the opposite way around, but just take three more big circles here. Keeping your big toes together if you can. Keeping that sensation of sort of massaging the lower back into the mat as we move through the sensations. Nice, give yourself one big hug. 
perhaps rock side to side, and then back in stillness and center. From here, we start to rock up and down our spine, maybe taking the hands underneath the knees this time. As we roll back, we exhale. And as we roll forward, we inhale. So taking it really slow. And just be free here, explore some movement. Perhaps the legs go right behind you and perhaps even the touch toes the mat behind. The toes touch even. And then we rock forward. And we perhaps take a pause when we reach forward, roll our shoulders down our back. Let's do two more times. And then we cross the ankles. We come to an all fours position in the center of your mat. So reposition here. Plug your hands into your mat underneath your shoulders. Tops of your feet to press them down onto the mat. Nice, and from here we'll move our left hand to the center, so right underneath our center. Plug down with the left hand, and we reach up and out with the right arm. So right fingertips are reaching skywards. Hips are squared forward, and we're just twisting from the waist, gazing up towards our right fingertips. Find some expansion here. Really push yourself away from your mat with your left hand. One last breath. Exhale, release. Let's switch over. So left hand moves to the left, right hand plugs down the center of our mat, and we reach our energy all the way up through our left fingertips, opening up the chest and gazing up to the left fingers. Breathe. One last breath. Exhale, release. Come back this time to your all fours position. So plug both hands down. Shoulders on top of your wrists. Draw your belly in and up, so in and up, which scoops your tailbone under. Nice, tuck your tailbone. Slight groundedness in the spine, this neutral position. And then we inhale, we drop the belly. We start to lift the tailbone, lifting the head through. Exhale, tucking the tailbone first. Start to round the back, tuck the chin to the chest. Round as much as you can. How far apart can those shoulder blades feel? Inhale to rise. Exhale, round. Three more times with your own breath. Turn this into sort of like a moving meditation with your breath. Bringing your spinal movements into that inhale and exhale. One last time through. Nice, come back to neutral. Keeping the hips just as they are, we start to walk the hands out in front of us into this, um, this puppy pose, we call it. So arms come straight, head hangs between the forearms. As we reach our tailbone back, the head and the fingertips are reaching forward. So creating space in the body, expansion, breathe it, three breaths. Sit bones are reaching away from each other. The lower back feels spacious, feels free. Bring your attention back to that connected, free flowing breath. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back underneath you into that all fours position. Nice, press your fingers down, index finger faces forward as we tuck the toes and we lift the tailbone up and back in space, down the facing dog. Generously bend into your knees. Nice. Allow the head to hang heavy in space as the tailbone lifts. And then start to walk your dog out. So press one heel towards your mat. Bending generously into the other leg. And then switch over really slowly. Taking your time here. Taking any little micro movements that feel nice in your first downward dog. And then we'll all find some stillness in your downward dog. Breathing here.
and then all together on your next inhale, we'll lift up onto our tiptoes. And exhale, press your heels back towards your mat, chair as you bend your knees. Let's do this three more times. Inhale, lift onto your tiptoes. Exhale, press your heels back away from you. Nice, inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, find some space. Exhale, press your heels back, nice. From here, start to walk your feet to meet your hands. Little baby steps into a forward folding at the top of our mats. So generously bend our knees so our torso sits on our thighs. Take opposite hands, sorry, take opposite elbows with the hands. And then allow your head to drop really heavy. Shake your head no, nod your head yes. Plug into your big toes, the outside edge of your little toes, both sides of the heels. And then drop your hands down, back to your hands, reach your mat to your beneath you. From here, we take our hands behind us in an interlace and allow the interlace to drop up and over our heads, stretching into those shoulders. Perhaps this allows the head to drop a little bit heavier. Keep breathing. Exhale, release your hands, back to the hands, come to touch the earth one last time as we start to peel the back all the way up. Tip, chin tucks into your chest and the head is the last thing to rise. So really slowly, taking your time. As we come up to the Asana Mountain Pose, reach our arms out wide, over the head. Nice, take our interlace with our hands and press the interlace away from us. Take a little back bend here. And as we exhale, we flood all the way down, perhaps coming through cactus arms, all the way down, Uttanasana once more. Inhale, this time halfway lift, gaze out in front, perhaps hands come to your shins. Exhale, plug your hands, step back to your high plank. Pause here. Body in one straight line, gazing down the tip of your nose. Your neck stays long. Bring your belly in and up. Breathe. Keep breathing. Stay with me. Press your heels away. One last deep, fiery breath. And then all together we drop the knees. Keep the elbows tucked into the side body. We come all the way down onto our beds. Untuck the toes. Plug the hands under the shoulders and inhale, rise to baby cobra. Exhale, fold, forehead touches the earth. Let's do three more baby cobras. Inhale, rise. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, lift your heart up and through. Exhale, fold. Bend into your knees, push back into your child's pose. And let's take a few breaths in child's pose. Softening down through the forearms. Can you walk your fingertips away from you a little bit more? Nice, lengthening into your arms, opening up the, the armpit area. And then just releasing, softening down. One last breath there. And the next inhale, lift the forehead up, plug down with the hands, tuck the toes down with facing dog. Let's take a few breaths. Inhale, bit expansion in the chest. Exhale, release down a little bit more. Last breath. A slow, conscious breath brings the right leg up and back in space. Three-legged dog on the inhale. Exhale, we draw the knee to the nose and we round the back. We're gonna do this three times. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, round, tuck the knee to the nose. Inhale to rise with the right leg. Exhale, round. 
This time, step the right foot between the hands. If it doesn't quite make it, help up with the right hand. Drop the back knee. Nice. Working into our low lunge. So take your center underneath you first. Untuck the back toes. And then we lift the arms overhead and allow the pelvis to sink. Drawing the shoulders down the back and gazing between the hands. Feel, witness, observe the openness in the left side of the hip. Breathe from the belly, up through the chest. Last breath. Exhale, flood the hands down, frame the front foot, press down with the left hand, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and reach up with the right arm. Low twisting lunge. Last breath in. Exhale, release that right hand on the right side of the right foot. Step back into your plank. Pause here. Press your heels away, drawing the belly in. One last breath. Dropping the knees, chest, chin all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, push back through your child's pose into your downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg lifts up and back in space. Three-legged dog, press your heel away. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, round. Inhale, rise. Exhale, round. Really round the back and then step that left foot through. Hop it on with the left hand. Back knee softens, untuck the back toes. My center's underneath me first. And then inhale, rise the arms over the head. Exhale, drop the pelvis down. Really release down, gaze up between the hands. And breathe, three deep breaths. How connected can your inhales and exhales be? Can you take the last breath a little bit slower? Exhale, framing the front foot, pressing down with the right hand, up, tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee. Inhale, reach up with the left hand. Crown of your head is reaching towards the front of the mat, keeping extension in the neck. Exhale, release the left hand, step back, high plank. This time, option for your chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, or come halfway down. Inhale, lift the belly up and through. Exhale, let's meet in down facing dog, five breaths. And really take your downward dog as your chance to tune back to your breath. in child's pose, come back and meet us in downward facing dog. Let's take one last breath together. As we exhale, we gently bend the knees, gaze between our hands, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root down to rise. Take your arms wide and above your head. And then exhale, flood all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lifts. Exhale, step back through plank. Option for chaturanga or just down facing dog, whatever you feel your body wants in your practice. And then we'll meet in down facing dog. Taking our five breaths. Head hangs heavy, put down with the hands. Working into this external rotation of your arms. Last breath. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back in space. Nice, bend into that knee and we take the knee to the right elbow. Left elbow, 
back up in space, open up two more times like this. Knee to right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, lift and open, last time. Exhale, right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, rise, open. Exhale, knee to nose. Step that foot through, nice. Turn the back foot out 45 degrees into your warrior two legs. Front heel is aligned with the back arch. And we inhale, rise to our warrior two. Heel to the front foot forward a little bit because everyone always has a slightly short stance. You want a whole leg distance apart with the front heel going all the way back to the back heel. Nice, gazing over your front middle finger. And then all together, as we inhale, we lift our arms over the head, we straighten the front leg. And as we exhale, we come back to our warrior two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, breathe in. Inhale, rise. Let's go for three more. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, right. Exhale. We bend the front knee. Can you see your front first two toes on the inside of your right knee? If not, just encourage your knee out to the right a little bit more. Check in with the back arm because it is lifted. Inhale. Open your palms skywards. Reach forward with the upper body. Reaching, reaching, finding that energy. And then exhale, reverse the warrior. Option to take the left hand down the back leg or over and bind so the left hand is on, sat on the right thigh. We breathe in our reverse warrior. Last breath. Inhale, back to your warrior two. And on its inhale, we lift the back heel off your mat, come into your high lunge. Focusing on from here, we're gonna move into our warrior three. I'm just gonna move back just a little bit. Transitioning the weight into our front leg. And as we inhale, we reach forward. And then we rise into our warrior three, lifting the back leg up in space. Reaching the arms up and away from us. Flexing that back foot. Take a few more breaths here. Gaze down the tip of your nose. Last breath. As we exhale, forward fold, standing slip. Hands come down to your mat or to your blocks. Lift the back leg and space a little bit more. Last breath. Exhale, release the left foot next to the right foot. Come into your forward fold. Generously bend your knee, torso sits on your knees. And now the head to hang heavy. And then from here, grab your big toe with your first two fingers and thumb. Wrap them around your big toe. Inhale, halfway left, gaze out in front. Exhale, soften the elbows. Allow the elbows out to the side as we fold over our legs. So the torso is completely heavy on the thighs, reaching the tailbone up with length, and allowing the head to hang heavy. Perhaps drawing the eyes closed, taking a few more breaths. Last breath. And then release your grip. Inhale, halfway lifts. Exhale, press your hands down, step back through plank. Your chaturanga or just downward facing dog, whatever you fancy there. And then let's meet in child's pose, knees as wide as your mat. No rush to get to. When you finally arrive, allow the forehead to soften.
And then when you're ready, plug back to the hands, lift your hips up and back and face, downward facing dog. Find your positioning, find your breath. And then inhale, left leg lifts up and back in space. Open up that hip by bending into the leg. As we exhale, we take knee to left elbow, right elbow, back up in space and open. Exhale, knee to left elbow, right elbow. Inhale, rise, last time. Exhale, open, twist. Inhale, rise. Inhale, knee to nose, step that left foot between the hands, back foot 45 degrees, press through the outer edge of the back foot, find your grounding first with your feet, and then inhale, rise to your warrior two. Heel turn the front foot forward. Here's the back arm as lifted as the front. Nice and all together, inhale, arms lift over head, straight in the front leg. Exhale, re-bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, lift, spine and space. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Opening up the front knee if you can't see the first two toes. And then open the palms skywards, draw the shoulders down the back. Reach forward, reach for new energies. Reach, reach, and then we reverse the warp. Hand either comes down the back leg or around and we bind. Rolling open the chest skywards and then gazing up to your left elbow. Breathing from the belly. Last breath. Inhale, warrior two. Take the back heel off your mat, high lunge. Ooh. Reposition, and you step back a little bit. Preparing for your warrior three. Inhale, reach forward, transition your weight into your front leg. And propel yourself up with the ball of the back foot. Flex that right foot in space. Welcome the wobble in your left ankle. And have the sensation of drawing the right hip down, left hip back, so both hips are squared. Stay with me, taking two last breaths. Exhale, fold, standing slip. Hands come down, lift the back leg up in space. Can you lift the back leg up a little bit further? And then we exhale, release, standing forward, fold. Melt down, soften, release. Allow the tailbone to rise, the head hangs heavy. And then from here, we scoop our hands all the way under our feet. So our palms are facing upwards, fingertips facing towards us. And we walk the toes up to the wrist creases in the hands. Nice, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Tailbone rises, head hangs heavy. And as I fold, Audrey plays with the toes. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. Inhale, halfway lift, release the hands. Nice, take the hands to the hips and roll all the way up, hinging all the way up slowly. Nice, shake it off, shake it off from the head. Rock side to side. And then come back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feel grounded in the feet, plug down with the big toes, outside edge of the little toe, both sides of the hill. This time we inhale, we sit back into Utkatasana chair pose. Nice, sit back in the seat. Can you see your toes in front of your knees? And now let's work to some ankle strength and lift the heels off the floor. Nice. 
inhale, rise, come all the way up, straighten the legs, reach as tall as you can. And then exhale, let's sit back in our seat, keeping those heels lifted. Arms reach out parallel in front of us. How low can we sit? Inhale to rise, all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Let's go one last time. Inhale, rise. Nice. Exhale, fold. Squeeze those thigh bones together as we sit here with fours. For five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Release down. Nice. Come to this little froggy position where our heels are lifted. And let's just fold forward. Head hangs heavy between the thighs. Close the eyes down. Really melt down, just taking the last few breaths here. Feeling supported by the fear, trying to find a little bit more ease in this posture. And then when we're ready, plugging down with our hands, step back to down with facing dog. And then knees wide, big toes together, child's pose. Forehead comes down. Melt everything down. Let's just take a bit of a longer child's pose. Have a little recovery. Plugging down with our hands, reaching the hips up and back in space. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up in space, three legged dog. Open that hip, bend into that right knee. And let's reverse what we did last time. So knee comes to left elbow, right elbow. Back up in space and open. Two more times. Left elbow, right elbow. Up and back in space. Last time, knee to left elbow, really twist into that left elbow, open up, and then back up in space. Knee to nose, step through with the right foot. This time, drop the back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms rise above the head, and then take the prayer back through heart center. We've done this one quite a few times in the last few classes. We tuck the toes, inhale, lift the chest, moving into our twist. Turning over towards the right, hooking the elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Option to stay here, or option to tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, straighten the back leg. Your choice, whatever feels good in your practice. This is a heart opener, first and foremost. So ensure your chest is rolling open and the right elbow is lifting as we press the palms together and the palms are as close to the heart center as they can be. Last breath. As we inhale, come back through center. Lift the arms over the head. Exhale, flood the hands down. Frame the front foot, step back to high plank. 
your chaturanga of choice or just downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, rise with the left leg. Open up, bend that leg. Exhale, knee to right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, rise. Last time. Knee to right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, up and open. Knee comes to center from the nose, steps between the hands, back knee places down, on top the back toes. Inhale, lifts arm over the head. Hands come through, heart center in prayer. Exhale to soften. Inhale, lifts. And then exhale, twist. Perhaps tugging the back toes once more. And if you tuck back the back toes, straighten the leg on the opposite side. Do it on this side too. And let's breathe. One last breath. Inhale, back to center. Frame the front foot, step back into your plank. Your tatanga of choice. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here, five breaths. Let's draw our right knee to our belly. Nice. And then drop the knee just behind the right um, wrist, taking the foot over towards the left. Slide the left leg back in space, preparing for our pigeon. And let's work into our back bend to start. So taking the hands by our hips out wide, perhaps putting a block underneath our right sit bone. Drawing the sensations to the lower back, into this back bend as we draw the shoulders down the back. Lift the chest up. Finding some ease here. Finding that space between effort and ease. Where we can melt down with the sit bones. But find space in the chest, front body. And then start to walk the hands out in front of us, very slowly. First coming down on your forearms, and then forehead kisses your mat. Soften down, let's take eight, as slow as we can, deep breaths through the belly. And then the exhale travels all the way back down, through the belly, out through the pelvis. Surrender down a little bit further. The last few breaths. Can you soften the shoulders a little bit more? Last breath. And as you inhale, slowly peel the forehead off your mat. 
Walk your hands back, plug down with your hands, so that's sort of in a downward dog position, tuck your toes, and then lift back down, facing dog. Inhale, draw the left knee in towards you, come through plank, and then take your knee just behind your left wrist, your foot over behind your right, slide the right leg down and long, untuck the right toes, and again, walk your hands up beside you first. Sit into your back bend. Drawing my belly in and up. So my belly scooping up as my tailbone scoops under. Right hip forward, left hip back. Soften down, melt down through the shoulders. Shoulder blades draw together as we start to walk forward. Keep that sensation of the right hip forward, left hip back. Releasing the forehead down. Start by softening the shoulders. Edging that right hip forward. And every exhale. Melting down that little bit more with every deep breath. If you're feeling resistance in the outer left hip, that's okay, breathe through it. It's just a sensation. If you're feeling any resistance, pain in the knee, just draw your foot back towards your body a little bit more. Melting down a little bit further for the last few breaths on the left side. Next inhale, peel the forehead off the mat, slowly walk your hands back. Plugging your hands down into that downward dog hand position, tucking the back toes, lifting back into your downward facing dog. From here, generously bend the knees, gaze between the hands, and let's jump through to a seated position. Nice, legs out long in front of us. And then let's release the flesh beneath our sit bones. So lifting the flesh underneath the left sit bone, kind of out to the side. So we can sit evenly on both sit bones. Draw the shoulders down the back. Inhale, rise high with the arms. And exhale, slowly hinging forward, moving into our seated forward fold. Option to release the hands on the outside of the shins or grab the outsides of the feet. Perhaps bending into those knees a little bit. Inhale, we all halfway lift together. Exhale, fold, keeping the gaze towards your toes. Hinging, trying not to round the back too much here. Breathe, taking five deep breaths. Start to rise all the way back up. Release the hands by the hips. From here, we're going to take both soles of the feet to where the knees were. And then take the left foot over beside the right hip bone. And then take the right foot over towards the left. So we're coming to a position where our right knee is stacked on top of our left. And our feet are out to the sides. And we're just balancing on the outside edges of the feet. Perhaps move side to side to just find um, a position where you can sit evenly through both sit bones. Coming into eagle legs. 
And perhaps this is enough for you today, or perhaps you want to walk your fingertips forward and start folding over your knees. And you'll come to a point where you really just feel the stretch and you want to just take some stillness there. Perhaps allowing the head to hang heavy, perhaps even coming down on your forearms feels okay. And let's just sit into this outer hip stretch. Breathing into the resistance. Witnessing, not judging the sensations in the body. Just experiencing the now, the sensation, the feeling, the connection you feel with certain parts of the body that sometimes we just don't really connect with very often. Close the eyes down to internalize the sensation a little bit more. Can you release that bit further? Taking two last deepest breaths. And when you're ready, your inhale takes you up. Slowly come back. Keeping the legs as they are, drawing the shoulders down the back. We start to walk the right hand back behind us and take the left hand on the outside of the right knee. And then start to twist turning over your right shoulder, perhaps plugging the palm down behind you, or coming with a fist and maybe pressing the fist down onto the mat. This often feels quite nice with me. I can get a little bit more strength in the twist. And using your left hand to sort of encourage your right knee over towards your midline. Breathing here, feeling a stretch in the outside of the right hip. Perhaps it felt a little bit stronger here when you're folding forward. Two more breaths. And then allow the inhale to take you back to center. Let's go all the way around to the left. De-rotate one breath. Exhale, release back to the front. Let's try something a little bit fun to reposition to the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of lift up, keeping our legs just as they are. Start to walk around the left side and then sort of placing the balls of the feet on your mat, coming up, releasing your um, heels, and then sort of dropping back into the opposite version. And if yours completely messed up, don't worry about it. Just come back and find a position where the left knee is on top of the right knee. And again, find the place that feels good. Your sit bones are sort of even. Perhaps this side feels quite different to the other. I'm feeling a little bit more resistance. So let's just take a little longer to melt down into this position. Draw the shoulders down the back, lift the chest. An option to stay here, an option to come with me and start walking the fingers forward. Melting down, perhaps on the forearms, allowing the head to hang. Closing the eyes down, perhaps walking the fingertips more in front and keeping the forearms lifted it feels nicer for you. Wherever we are, let's release down. Find some ease with the effort. Listening to the audible sound of your breath. And try for the last few breaths to make your breathing even slower. Which will start to lessen the stress, relax the nervous system. Bringing our mind, our bodies into a greater state of relaxation.
helping to clear our minds of any of that mind clutter, allowing for new energies, new ideas to just ease themselves into the mind. Slowly start to walk your hands backwards. And again, walk your left hand back behind you. Start to twist, taking your right hand on the outside of your left knee. And however you do on the opposite side, work into this seated twist with length in the back. Neck stays nice and long, crowning your head lifts. And we gaze with a soft gaze, or maybe your eyes closed over the left shoulder. One last breath. Inhale, take us back to center. And just for fun, let's try and unravel just the way we did last time. So sort of walk forward a little bit. Release your knees, cut down with your hands, come up into the balls of your feet, start to walk around. And can we arrive to our right knee over us? Just for fun, release the legs wherever you are. Give them a shake out. The hips, outer hips, and then take the feet to where the knees are. Draw the arms out in front, draw the belly in, scoot the belly in, and then exhale as slow as we can go. Let's make our way all the way down onto our backs. Releasing the arms long down on our mats. And then taking the heels up towards us, we can just about graze the ankles with our fingertips. Feet are hip width apart, facing forward, plugging down the big toes, outside edge of the little toe, both sides of the heel. And just like we started the practice, we're gonna scoop the belly in, press the lower back into the mat and start to peel one vertebrae up at a time, drawing the hips up slowly. And this time going a bit further, so we can draw the shoulders underneath us, taking our hands in the interlace, squeezing that imaginary block between our thighs. Close the eyes down, and let's breathe for five breaths. In our Dhanurasana, our bridge pose. breath. And then exhale, release the interlace. Allow the arms to come a little bit wider so we can start to peel each vertebrae down, scooping the belly in towards the spine as we go. How slow can we release one vertebrae down? Pressing the lower back into the mat and then pressing the tailbone so the lower back releases. Comes to a natural curve in the spine, a little bit of lift in the lower back, lifting off the mat. Resting here, taking the right hand to the belly, left hand to the chest. Feel your belly rise and fall. I'm going to do one more bridge. Option for same bridge again, or option for full wheel if that's in your practice. If you're doing full wheel, do it with me. So hands outside of our shoulders. Elbows are rising up towards the ceiling. They're not kind of splaying out to the side. And as we press down with the toes, we lift up, arching into our back. Staying on whatever bridge you've chosen for five breaths. slowly release. This time we can allow our knees to knock together in center. Again, taking the right hand to the belly, left hand to the chest. 
Soften here. And then from here, release the knees so the hip width apart again. Release the left leg down and on your mat. And then hug your right knee in towards your right armpit. Before releasing the right hand parallel. Releasing the right arm so it's sort of out to your side in cactus. And then encouraging your right knee over towards the left knee into this supine twist. Releasing the left arm so both arms are out wide. Gazing slowly over the right shoulder, closing the eyes down. And can we melt wherever we are, even if we're hanging in space with any parts of the body? Can we just melt into this juicy twist? to soften those shoulders once more. And then allowing the next inhale to take us back to center. Releasing the right leg down along and then drawing the left knee in towards the left armpit. One breath with both palms on your knee and interlace. Releasing the left arm long and encouraging the left knee over to the right with the right palm. Releasing both arms, gazing over the left shoulder. And find a sense of doing nothing. Releasing any muscle tone, any effort. that Shavasana where all we need to do is release, let go. And these preparatory poses can just allow us to arrive in that place just a little bit faster, a little bit easier. The next inhale takes your knee back to center. Release both legs long, working into our Shavasana. Take any movement that feels good, perhaps a deep inhalation through the nose and out through the mouth to really release. And allow that exhalation to take you to the place of surrender. Shavasana, let's take a minute Shavasana in silence together. Wiggle the toes. Shake the head left to right slowly. And then take your arms long above you, big toes together, biggest stretch of the day, biggest breath of the day too. 
rolling onto whatever side feels good, creating a pillow for your bottom ear with both hands, drawing your knees in towards you, keeping your eyes drawn closed, and then pressing yourself up with your top hand, back to a seated position. Keeping your eyes drawn closed, let's finish the practice with one deep breath together. Take your hands to heart center in your prayer. Releasing breath. Let's inhale together. Exhale through the mouth. 